So I'm back over here in Denmark and really pleased to be invited back here. We're at the campsite in Yelling and uh, we're looking at some of the new 2020 tents uh, from Outwell and Robins and possibly Easy Camp. I don't know what they're setting up here just at the campsite at the moment, but there are a few new camping innovations coming up for the 2020 season. So uh, let's get stuck in and have a good look. New for 2020 is this Outwell Hartsdale 6PA. There's a nice new feature with this, and that is you can open it here and get inside the tent and it automatically self-closes. Behind me is the Chinook Ursa from Robins. It's a really smart tent. This is the new Outwell Roseville 6SA. This tent here is part of the Superior Air Collection range from Outwell and it's the Airville 6SA. Look at this, staying in the Legoland Castle Hotel. Oh, kids would have liked this.
yeah, super easy to f pull out and and to uh, to get back. And of course, if you're able to split it in the center, you can see it creates such a nice uh, uh, seat rest. New feature with the Outwell 2020 range is this new track system. So along the beams in his tent, you've now got this plastic tubing and you get a number of clips with your tent that clip onto this plastic tubing. So you clip like that. And on this clip, you can hang all sorts of things that are lightweight. So such as collapse range of lanterns, tea towels to dry up in by the door, or there's extra accessories you can get to be able to run from one side to the other beam, a light and run the cables through. So you can position it exactly where you want it, say over a table, for example. And here's another example of using the rack system, this time with a potted plant. Um, plastic, of course, because you uh, don't want to put anything too heavy on this system. Um, and obviously it's just here for show with a, a, a light collapse light here and, and another plant down there. So if you wanted uh, some fake potted plants in your tent, well, this is one way of doing it. I just thought I'd bring you over to the Easy Camp accessories. And there's a lot of accessories and you can get a lot of these accessories from a number of different brands. Obviously not just easy camp, but there was a few little things I saw when we were giving a guided tour area that I just thought I'd want to point out. A couple of little designs that are quite funky. So this one here uh, is a little lantern that has got a little flame effect going on. You also press the button if you just want it steady and a slightly dimmer there. I don't know that's come out on the video, but you could have it slightly dimmer there. And it's like a traditional little lantern. Um, I think it's be quite good for Halloween actually. Um, but also at the campsite, I, I think this is quite, quite, quite good. It's, it's, it looks feels like a fairly tough bit of plastic. It's got a rubber handle here, so it looks quite good. But also, also I can see the, the kids wanting to perhaps carry one of these um, as they go to the, the toilets to uh, clean their teeth before bed at night. There's um, some other little um, natty inventions as well that you've got going on. This here is a is a, a little lantern, obviously, that you press the button and it lights up. But it's not really, well, it is a lantern, but actually what it is, it's a little torch. So you've got this torch here, and basically this is a sort of a box to help illuminate. So you take the thing out, use it as a torch, you want to find something or, you know, walk somewhere and it's a handy little pocket shot it's, it's rubberized i mean it, you know it's it's basic stuff but it's led it's fairly bright um rubberized fairly good easy for the kids to easily switch on and off themselves if they wanted to um, and then you just plop it in here which diffuses the light turning the torch into a lantern so that's quite cool as well Um, there's this head torch design and of course you get head torches from all sorts of places uh, as well but I saw this one it's quite quite natty now it's got a little USB port to be rechargeable um, it's got a number of brightnesses that is actually fairly bright um, and of course as a head torch you can stick it on your head now I noticed this can be adjusted quite tightly so um, it probably fit on most kids heads too but it comes with another little feature. And if I can do this, we just twist it off of the headpiece and it's got this other little piece here that you can just clip on there. And if you needed, if you didn't want it around your head, you can clip it on here. And where's the switch gone? There's the switch. Uh, and it's basically got a little clip on the back. So if you want to clip it on your jacket or something, um, you could do. If you needed your hands free for doing something, you, you didn't want it on your head or you had, had a hat on and it didn't, didn't fit or whatever reason. Um, you could even clip that on the side of your tent as well, um, maybe on the inner tent inside the bedroom as well. So you could use it as uh, an extra light in the bedroom, in your tent, or you could just clip it off, twist it on and off and uh, 
goes on the head torch like so. If I twist it around the right way, there we go. The back of the head torch. And here's another item that uh, <laughs> looks rather smart. Um, you can imagine this on the on the campsite looking fairly good. You can make some really smart photos of that. But it's it's a uh, coffee pot. Yeah, it's a coffee pot. It's just shiny, simple coffee in there. Threw it away at the campsite. It's not gonna, you're not going to break the bank, but if you just wanted to bling up and lamp up your camping, that looks pretty cool too. And just while we're in this tent, just show you this really, really large airbed. This is quite high, so this is almost like a, a sitting height. So if you want an airbed still, um, then this is a fairly big one. Again, um, like a lot of airbeds, it can be a little bit bouncy, especially a double one. But one thing that this does is it has a built-in pump, so you can uh, connect it up and we'll just basically inflate it, make it firmer or softer. <laughs> 